All right, are you guys ready to see my brand new UFO? Yes, Dax, you dragged us all the way out here to see it. It better be good. Of course, it's super good. Okay, anyways, here you go. Look at my super cool UFO. All right, let's see this. And oh, wow, Dax, did you build this with your eyes closed or something? Uh, no, I didn't build my eyes closed. What are you talking about? Dax, this looks like a car with glass all around it. Well, isn't that what all UFOs are supposed to look like? No, does this thing even fly? Uh, yeah, of course it flies. Look, do you guys want to hop in it and then we can fly around? Uh, only if I can wear a helmet. Wait, what? Zoe, you don't need a helmet. It's not that bad. Uh, Zoe, do you have an extra one of those? Yeah, here you go. What in the world? Okay, you guys, you know what? It doesn't even make a difference. Everyone come up here, hop in your seats, and then we're going to go on a super cool ride in the UFO, okay? Okay, let me just close the door right behind us, and I can hop in my captain's seat. Is everyone ready to take off? Yeah, let's go. Let's fly. All right, let's see it. Oh, my gosh, guys, a UFO is flying. This is perfect. Uh, Dax, are you sure this is normal? There's a bunch of smoke coming out of the back. Wait, what are you talking about smoke and... Oh, uh, wait, why is there a bunch of smoke coming out? I have no clue. Oh, gosh, wait a second. I'm losing control of the plane. What's going on? This is not good. Oh, gosh, guys, everything blown. Everyone get out the plane. Get out, get out, get out. We lost Nox. Oh, no, I'm the only one left on. Zoe, hop out of the plane. What are you doing? That was the worst UFO experience of my entire life. I bet I could build a way better UFO than you. What? No. Okay, Zoe, I promise this is way harder than it looks. Actually, I could probably build a better one than you can, too. I'm going to build one for myself and show you. Yeah, same here. Wait, what? You both are going to build new UFOs? Are you serious? Okay, well, you know what? I bet I could build a way better one. I wasn't even uh trying in that last UFO build. Um, sure. You look pretty proud of that one. I'm not even going to lie. But no, Zoe, it wasn't my best work. I promise. I'm going to build the best UFO ever. All right, well, whatever. My UFO is going to be the best one here. I don't want to hear it. No, you two dumb dumbs. The mine's going to be the best. Okay, and I think to start off my UFO build, what I'm going to do is use a bunch of lime concrete since that's my favorite color. I'm going to use purple wool. I'm going to use some red concrete. But I bet both of yours are going to be super, super ugly, and mine's probably going to be way bigger. No way. Mine's going to be so cute. Okay, in order to actually make the base of my build, I think all I have to do is type in a command like this. And okay, this definitely isn't big enough. How about we make this like uh 20 blocks? That might be big enough. And yes, look at this. This is perfect. There is a little bit of an issue though, because it kind of goes in the middle of everyone else's thing, but it's probably not that big of a deal. Hey, Nox, you don't mind that this is kind of in the way, right? Wow, wow, wow. Oh, this is in my area. Get out of here. No, it's not in your area. Look at this. Look, your red is right here, and it looks like my green thing is safe. Stop breaking my stuff. You're in my area. Get out of here. I'm not in your area. It's not even that close. See? Get out of here. This is mine. No, I'm not even in your stuff. Well, whatever. It doesn't even make a difference. Okay, let me just move this a little bit back since he wants to be a little weirdo, and I will put it right about there. Okay, perfect. Now we have to stack this up uh, maybe like 20 blocks high, and the way I'm going to do that is by replacing this 20 and just going down in numbers while going up. Okay, I think I only need a few blocks left. I'm at four, three. Oh, gosh, I just missed four completely, but it should be fine. I'll go two, and the final one will be one, and let's see how our UFO is looking. Yes, this looks so cool. Um, Dax, that kind of looks like a pyramid. That's not looking like a UFO at all. Wait, what are you talking about? It looks like a pyramid. This looks exactly how a UFO would look. No, it looks like a bunch of stairs. Have you ever seen a UFO? Uh, yeah, I've seen one before, like in the middle of the like wheat fields and stuff. In the wheat fields? Were you abducted? No, I wasn't abducted. I just, uh, I saw it. Yeah. You sound pretty defensive. I bet you were abducted and that's why you're so weird. What? I'm not even weird at all. What are you talking about? Dax, do you think Dax is weird? Yeah, absolutely. Dude's really weird. What the heck, guys? Why are you being so mean to me? Sorry, Dax. It's just the truth. Yeah, you're weird. Well, whatever. I think my UFO looks pretty good. And now that I have like the whole inside completely hollowed out i can start building in like the laser beam that's going to be at the bottom and let's see how can i do this maybe it's best to like put an elevator here since i don't really have like a way to make a beam so what i'm going to do is break out a few blocks in the middle and start placing down a little outline out of these oak planks so i can actually build the elevator which will just be right here now if that's done let's just make sure to grab some of our elevator blocks and i think all we need is this elevator controller and elevator display and i should just have to place it at the bottom uh maybe right about there looks good now let's go ahead and put the elevator display on the top of that right up here we put down one more controller and now it should work let me just test this out with the grass and oh gosh wait a second it didn't work let's look inside and see it oh yeah okay that's a little bit too big okay let's see i need a two by two area so let's just increase this a little bit we'll go down a few blocks here and okay now this should be good let's see and oh gosh wait nothing's working and wait it worked i wasn't even in there maybe i should change the blocks a little bit okay how about 
instead of this we can do like lime wool that look a little bit better and now the lime wool is there let me just press my elevator one more time and what it is like completely glitching out i wonder what's wrong with this thing uh are you doing something over there uh yeah i'm trying to make an elevator but it's not really working that well why yeah the game's you lagging. stop that it's stopping the game the game's lagging why are you serious yeah yes. it's like really rough uh okay well maybe i could do something else let me just grab some of this lime stained glass and maybe i can make like a water tower going up and now below this what i'll do is just place out a few different stairs and oh gosh i'm gonna have to extend this out a little bit since it's a little bit too short but this should be good once i pretty much get this filled in i don't know what was wrong with the elevator but obviously it did not like to work at all so now that i have this this looks nice and zoe are you adding like a little thing like i did down here or what is all this glass meant for yep it's like you're being beamed up isn't it cool uh yeah it's kind of cool what are you gonna put on the inside though like what's meant to beam you up i was gonna put an elevator but i'm not sure it's gonna work yeah elevators aren't working very well let me check out nox's build what are you making uh mine's gonna be like a pointy ufo a pointy ufo so kind of like mine yeah really angular but not as lame what not as lame mine looks super cool and mine is way bigger than anything you could make since you're like a big dummy Ah, uh, we'll see about that at the end. Okay, well, let me just start filling in some of the staircase with a bunch of this, because obviously we can't have everyone looking at the bottom where the stairs are. And actually, let's just go ahead and break up this glass. Since the elevator didn't work, we don't really need it anymore to look around. I'll just break a few of these pieces, and perfect. Now we are inside our super cool UFO. But wait, I think I need to change a couple of these layers, since I don't really like that I can't see outside. So how about we break this, like, three blocks deep like that, and we'll place all this to be this super cool lime stained glass. That way we can actually see outside when we're flying around. And I think all I have to do is run one pretty basic command. And yes, look at that. Now I can see everyone outside of my UFO. Okay, that was definitely a really, really good addition. But I think I do have a broken couple pieces. Okay, yeah, here they are. Let me just fill that in. And now I can start building out some of the first rooms. I'm kind of curious. I don't really know what to build for the first room. I think every UFO has like a nice little control panel area. So what if I make like a big control panel area in the front? And I'm thinking in order to make this, I need to make like some walls. So that way only important people can get inside. Of course, we're also going to need a door. So let me just smack one of these hanger doors and then i'll fill this up with some more lime concrete and i want to make this kind of even but oh gosh wait i already might have messed it up a little bit okay we have to go two blocks deep which i think stops right about here so we can be even with that other side so let me just fill in some of the more lime concrete and let me make sure this door works before i do anything else and yes look at that that hanger door is perfect but in order to match that a little bit i think i gonna make this staircase like three by three otherwise i'll look a little bit off let's break apart some of this lime concrete here fill in the sides and then i can add in some more of those oak plank stairs okay now that everything's even i can actually start working inside the control panel let me just make sure to add a roof on top because obviously we don't want people sneaking inside and actually instead of placing everything by hand why haven't i just been using commands the whole time i can just use this really cool magic wand and like instantly place anything i need which is so much easier than just placing it all okay let's add in the roof which was the last thing and i can start adding in all the control panel stuff i wonder what type of stuff i even have though i think the first thing i should probably add in is a captain's chair that way we can actually fly our ufo at the end so let me just place this in the middle and yeah okay that looks pretty good of course we're also gonna need some passenger chairs so I'll place one to the side, one for Zoe, and I guess I'm gonna place one for Knox, and that can be right over here. Can my chair be purple? Uh, no, your chair can't be purple. I'm actually gonna make it blue. I don't really have another choice. What the heck? That's so not cool. Mine should be red. Yours should be red. I guess the captain's chair is like a little bit of a shade of red. It's more orange, but yours is still blue, Knox. Yeah, and I want to be the captain. Can I fly your ship? No, you can't fly my ship. You don't know how to fly anything. I want to do it. No, you can't do it. You don't know what you're doing, and you're probably gonna like crash my ship and blow up everything. Ah, uh, your ship's so lame already. How is my ship lame? Yours looks like a big block or something. This isn't even that cool. It's got a bunch of dumb rules on yours. A bunch of dumb rules. The only dumb rule that you think is dumb is that you can't fly, and that's because you're dumb. Yeah, probably because it can't fly. Yes, it can't fly. I bet mine's gonna be the only one that can fly. I doubt it. But actually, Zoe, yours is looking pretty cool. I like how you did all these arches and have all this glass there. Thanks. It's going to be super cool when it's done. Yeah. Okay. We'll see about that. Let me just hop back into my ship. And what else do I need for a little captain's area? And since this is a captain room, I think we also need some type of like security cameras in here. And wait, maybe I should just add in like security system. Let's throw this super big engine. That way the plane can actually take off. And how about we put it a little bit more in one of the corners? Okay. That looks good. Well, like I said, I want to add in a security system. So let me get one of these really cool camera monitors. And actually, let's just go ahead and connect all these around the ship so far. I'll place one there. And maybe we could also place some in the front over here and what that looks really cool i didn't even know the cameras could act like that okay let's just connect to both of these cameras over here i'll place a couple more cameras more towards the top and once i have all of this the person inside of the control room should actually be able to see everything let me just hop in and let's go ahead and click it as soon as i look here yes look at that guys i can see everyone inside of my ship and actually i can see pretty much everything on the outside too that's actually pretty useful can you see me uh no zoe i can't actually see on any of the cameras they're really just meant for the inside and not the bottom oh man you said you could see everything you can't see me well i can see everything
everything inside the ship. I can't see everything outside the ship. I mean, I guess I could add a few cameras with the outside, but that doesn't really make any sense. There is a captain's area. But you could watch me. You could watch me build. Why would I want to watch you build for that long? Because I'm so cute. I mean, yeah, but I'm going to get bored or something. Bored? What the heck? That's so mean. Well, I'll just put on this camera monitor here in the corner. Oh, gosh, wait a second. I don't even know this is the right one. Well, actually, I don't even know if this is the right one, but I guess we'll see whenever someone actually picks it up. And I do want to add a couple more things to the captain's area just in case he gets bored. Like, why don't I throw in like a TV or something? So I'm thinking for this, let me just move over the two chairs and I can place the TV area right over here, replacing this super big flat screen. And I'll also place a really cool couch down. Let's just make sure it all fits inside. It doesn't disrupt the captain's chair. And that looks really nice, except this corner is a little bit messed up. There we go. Okay, that looks a lot better now. And of course, on the outside, we have to make sure everyone inside the crew actually knows this is the captain area. So let me just put down a sign right here that says captain area only. Now, I also do need a little bit of a defense system. So why don't I add in like, oh, let's go ahead and add some TNT cannons on the top. And in order to build those out, I think I can place two of them on each of the side. Yeah, okay. These are both three blocks. so I can place two of them. Now, let's go ahead and start shaping these out. And I think I'm gonna need redstone, water. Of course, I'm gonna need TNT and maybe a couple dispensers. So let's just go ahead and grab all the materials that we need. But first, I'm gonna put some ladders up. That way, the people that are actually using them can just hop up there. I'll put some on this side. And then I'll go ahead and put some on this side. And actually, I think we're also gonna need glass here. That way, the TNT can go underneath but the people won't fly out the ship. Okay, let's go ahead and start testing out our redstone cannon on this side. And let's see, I think the water can... Oh, wait, maybe it needs to be a little bit deeper. So let's go ahead and fill up this water right here and we'll move everything back one more block just like that. Now I'll place in the water and okay, that actually looks pretty good. Maybe I can make it go up a few more blocks. So let's just go ahead and break these out. And now that should work. And I'm thinking what we also need to do is put like some dispensers on the side that actually dispense the TNT. But oh gosh, wait, where does that even go? Okay, let's just add in the lever to the back. And then I think I have to line up both sides with a bunch of redstone. Let's just make sure this works. And okay, yeah, that actually works. So this should work pretty well. Let's also get rid of these dispensers because I don't think we actually need them there. Okay, now that most of this is filled up, let's actually go ahead and add in the dispensers on the bottom and i think we only need uh let's go like three of them that should be pretty good let's put them all back in the middle i'll fill up this front space with some more of this lime and then we have to run all of the redstone on top of these now for the other side i think we have to do the same exact thing so let's just go ahead and fill that up and run the redstone back on top of it and in the very front is where we have to add the repeaters at that way it just doesn't actually blow up in our faces so let's go ahead and add a couple of these and let's put the ticks all the way back now let's make sure to add a dispenser to the front over here and let's add one of these slabs to the top that way the tnt can actually get it pushed out and let me just test out this lever to make sure it works okay let's hit it once and okay yeah there we go it looks like everything works pretty nicely for now i'm just gonna fill up one of the sides so i can test it out and everything doesn't blow up so let's just get some tnt and place it in each one of these dispensers in the front we're also gonna need to grab some tnt and place it in this front dispenser and now we can test out our super awesome tnt cannon let's see what this does come on please work it oh gosh that isn't gonna work Okay, yeah, it just blew up right in our faces. Okay, maybe I need to put this a little bit further up. Let's just test this out one more time. What was that? Uh, that was my TNT cannon knocks. Look, it's gonna work this time, I promise you. Uh, okay. Let me just hit this. That does look safe. Yeah, it is super safe. Look, just back up. It should go in. Oh gosh, okay, it just blew up right in the face. Okay, something's not working. <laughs> Don't laugh now. I just need to figure out how to get it to work. I'm like one piece of redstone off or something. Uh-huh. Maybe, I oh wait, I know what I did wrong. Okay, I need to put this a little bit higher. That way it doesn't destroy everything. Everything. Okay, look, it's gonna work this time, Nox. Fine, I'm coming. Let me just hit the lever and come on, TNT Cannon, let's do this. And oh, wait, it might be one too low now. And oh gosh, it just blew up in my face again. <laughs> Okay, what if I just try moving all the dispensers black one more block? So let me break that dispenser out. I'll place it right down here and I'll replace this one to be lime concrete. Let's fill up the top with a little bit of redstone and now it should work. Please work this time. I don't know what else I could do it. Oh gosh, wait, I didn't even fill them in. That definitely is not gonna work. And now the whole front of my UFO is completely destroyed. Okay, guys, I'm having a really tough time with this TNT cannon. Did you just say the front of your UFO is destroyed? That is not good. You're gonna be so behind. Yeah, I kind of destroyed everything with a little bit of TNT. I'm having a lot of troubles making defenses for my UFO. I'm not very good at redstone. Uh, I'd say this is actually kind of an improvement. It was pretty ugly before. It's an improvement. Are you serious, Nox? I don't even know what you're talking about. Your thing looks ugly. This looks like a house. Yours kind of looks like a great big booger, Dax. Are you serious? No, it doesn't. Yeah, it's I gross know. looking. Oh, wait a second. And I actually know why it didn't work. Okay, that makes a lot of sense now. I forgot to put the redstone back down. Okay, you know what? I'm going to make a completely different design. And whenever it works, the both of you are going to be super, super jealous. Whenever you 
you say? Uh -huh. Let's just break out this, get rid of all this water. I'm actually going to make it a whole lot smaller. That way, maybe it shoots a little bit faster. We'll break these dispensers out, put them here. And now let's make this a little bit shorter. And I'm thinking we only need like uh, five blocks worth of space. So this should work how we are. Okay, now that this is a lot shorter, it should be better. Let's just make sure to add in some of the redstone so everything works. And I think this front piece needs to be a repeater with a tick of two. Now let's just grab ourselves a nice little lever that I can use. Let's run the redstone all the way back. And okay, I think this one actually might work. And oh gosh, that doesn't look good at all. Where is it gonna go? And oh my gosh, these redstone cannons are so difficult. Uh, did it blow up again? Yes, it blew up again. I'm not using this anymore. I'm just gonna use like laser cannons. Laser cannons? You guys are including weapons? Uh, yeah, of course. Your UFO needs to have a bunch of protection. Otherwise, the like enemy ships are just gonna come take it over. Yeah, the government will come after you. Yeah, you're so right. I was already on that. <laughs> you were already on that? Yeah, it sounds like you're lying a bit, Zoe. I would never lie. Yeah, it's really sus. Well, let me just clear that up. And since that didn't work, okay, I'm gonna add in a bunch of laser cannons. Let's see, I should have a couple of them. Okay, all I need to do to actually get this to work is put down a turret case, put in this super cool laser turret, and oh wait, I think I need to throw one of these creative energy cubes. And once it starts moving, it should be working. Oh, there we go. Okay, it looks like it's working. Okay, now I wanna test this out. Let me just grab a zombie real quick. And we'll place the zombie down right over here. And let's see, and perfect. Okay, my laser defenses are working. This is definitely a lot better than having in that stupid TNT cannon because it didn't work at all. And I can have a bunch of these all the way around my ship. So let's just grab a bunch of these turrets and we can start placing so many of them around. And I also do have a bunch of different of these weapons. So let's see, what else can I even use? Okay, I have this one called the guided missile launcher. Let me just go ahead and replace this. And uh, let's see what this one does. Is it gonna shoot anything? And what the heck? It just shot a rocket at this guy. Let me place down another one. Come on, do something super cool. Come on, come on. And oh, he's hiding underneath the ship. Okay, that was kind of dumb. Well, it looks like it did a pretty good job. I want to test the other one. I have this one called the Nether Blaster, and I think this one's even better. So let's just place this at the top here, power it with one of these super cool energy cubes, and then I should be able to place down another zombie. What are you going to do to the zombie? And whoa, that is so cool. These are totally awesome. The last one I have is this nuclear death ray. Let me just see what this does. Uh, I'll place down the turret on the same level as everything else. Now we'll put one of these energy cubes and let's see what this does to a zombie. And whoa, that was the best by far. Zoe, come over here as fast as you can. I have to show you something I made. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, let me just grab a bunch of nuclear blasters. And I guess I can replace all these to be them since I think this one is by far the coolest. Whoa, this looks super cool. Yeah, it is super cool. Look, this is my defense system. Uh, Let me see. What should I grab? I mean, I guess zombies work. Okay, look at this, Zoe. I'm gonna place a zombie right down here next to my ship. And look what my super cool turrets do. That is so cool. Can you build those on my side? Uh, No, I'm not building them on your side. That's your own problem. Seriously, you won't help me? No, I'm not gonna help you. Why didn't I help you? We're competing against each other since you were talking all that trash earlier. Fine. I'll just go back and work super hard. Well, let me grab a few more of these nuclear death rays, and I think I only need like two of them on each side, so this shouldn't be that difficult to do. Okay, and now I think I have all the turrets on the outside of my base, so I should be pretty much protected from everything. Let me just grab in like a really cool mutant mob that I can try out. Uh, how about this mutant skeleton? Let's place him down over here like he'd be attacking my ship, and come on, turrets, take him out let's go okay it looks like my turrets are actually doing a pretty good job and oh my gosh they just completely took out that thing so easily these are the best turrets ever why did i even use that stupid tnt for well now that all the defenses on my outside are pretty solid i have to start adding in a few more rooms and wait a second i don't even have a room for my people let's go ahead and build a place where all of the people on my ship can sleep and i think we're only gonna have nox and zoe so i can just build three rooms over here let's go ahead and make a big wall that way we can actually have the rooms and uh hey zoe i'm guessing you want your room to be made out of purple right of course i do and nox i'm guessing you want your room to be made out of red? Yep absolutely okay so let me just grab one of the materials for each one of your guys's rooms and the rooms aren't going to be that big since we are in a spaceship after all but i'm still going to make them your guys color awesome perfect let me just split this down the middle for zoe and i'll do the same thing on nox's side and okay this looks pretty good how about we extend this a little bit out so nox's room can have a little bit more space and okay perfect now let's just stack everything up in the air so we actually start building their rooms okay now that the base of the rooms are built out i need to give them a roof but instead of using the color i think i'm going to give them like a really cool like starry type of room so let's go ahead and add a bunch of the glowstone on the top let's just make sure to fill this all in and i'm thinking for both room i'm gonna give them the same stuff since obviously i can't make one of them the favorite i'm the favorite i'm definitely a favorite mine's gonna be so much nicer than yours well either way i'm still not gonna give you guys favorite stuff i'm gonna give you both pretty much the same stuff like a bed and a couple chairs and stuff like that okay let me dig out on both of your sides and actually i'm thinking i'll give you guys a double door do you guys like double doors sounds good i want a single door you want a single door well okay i guess i mean that works for you let me just put one there and i'll give zoe a nice double door and now i think the first 
first room I'm going to start on will be Zoe's let's start by making all the floor out of this purple carpet since she's obviously going to love that and I don't want the floor to be green since it's her room after all and like I said what we're going to add in here is like a bed we can also throw in maybe like a TV and like some stuff for storage let's go ahead and place the TV down against this wall and we'll make it like three blocks deep put the big TV there and we'll give her a little tiny couch here so she can actually watch whatever she wants and I guess we need to make the couch one bigger okay that looks nice how about we add the bed uh let's throw the bed in this corner I think this will be a good spot for it next to this is where we'll throw her chest at and we'll also give her a crafting table right next to that lastly I just need to throw some paintings in here since it looks a little bit boring right now so how about we add in one of these uh nether things okay now that Zoe's room is done let's just make sure to add in a little sign over here that says it's her room that way Nox doesn't actually go in there and oh gosh I broke the captain sign we'll just smack this right here and it will say Zoe's on this side and on the opposite side I'll say room since she has two doors but for Nox it's only gonna have the one sign okay now that we're done with Zoe's side let's do the same exact thing for Nox and I think we're getting a lot of red carpet for this right Nox do you want red carpet yeah I do okay well let me just throw a bunch of the red carpet all the way around here so you can actually be kind of comfortable let's go ahead and give him one of these gaming setups in the corner and we'll also throw his bed uh maybe also we'll be in the corner kind of like Zoe's next to this we'll give him the chest we'll throw it in one of these crafty tables and we'll also throw in a couple paintings here which one do I want to use uh how about I put a creeper one like right above his bed and oh yeah he also needs some type of couch so let me just grab a red couch that he can use on his gaming setup and I think Nox's room is pretty much done they both look pretty cool now that the rooms are done it kind of made me think of one more thing that we're definitely going to need we need like a little armory area just in case we do have to fight people so what if I build like a big armory room over here I'll just fill out the corners with some more of this lime concrete and we're probably going to want to close it in so the people on the outside can't see in here so actually instead of it being in the corner how about I just place it in the middle let's go ahead and break all these blocks and then we'll make like a little cubby area over here and place it in this direction and this is where all the armor can be at let's go ahead and add in a couple of double doors to the front actually we should probably throw one of those hangers doors here since it's a bit more secure so let's just go ahead and copy this over right here here perfect that looks good for an armory room now inside of here we're gonna have a bunch of armor stands with a bunch of different types of armor on it and since we're probably gonna be in space we probably need like space armor so for this one in the middle I'm gonna throw some super cool exosuit stuff on it and on the ones on the side I'm gonna throw some commando armor and let's see what other type of armor do I even have I guess for Nox we can throw in like this reddish armor since it looks kind of cool I'm gonna throw my armor in the corner over here which will be the spiky green stuff and I wonder if I have any purple things for Zoe I think for her we could use this shadow armor that looks super super nice now for the walls we'll also throw in a couple of chests are gonna have like our weapons and stuff so this area in the side is where all the stores are gonna be so we'll make a road for Nox's weapon I'll put my super cool weapon up here and Zoe's weapon can also be here below this is where we're throwing a bunch of shields and I guess we can also throw these laser blasters now for our other chest over here we're just gonna fill it up with a bunch of different golden apples because that's probably the best food you can have whenever you're fighting an army now let's just make sure to add a little side to the front that says this is the armory room and actually I kind of want to check out what everyone else has built I kind of wonder what they've been doing hey Zoe have you added anything cool to your base yet I've added like a bedroom slash living room and a garden whoa you added a garden to your place is actually a really good idea yep it's super cute and let's see what is Nox uh adding Nox what are the one of these things uh that's our food those are your Ooh, they look really scary. Yeah, we're aliens. We eat. Okay, wait. We're aliens? What are you talking about? Who's we? We're on a UFO. Are we not aliens? No, we're just like special pilots. You can be an alien if you want to, though. I'm going to be an alien. Okay, well, you can be an alien. I'm going to keep building some of my stuff. I wonder what else I should build. I kind of like the guard idea that Zoe had, but wait, maybe we should have like an experimentation area. Since Nox was talking about having aliens and stuff like that, what if I make like a big room dedicated to having a bunch of aliens in them? So the first thing I should probably do is make a, a nice little wall like all the other rooms. So let's just go ahead and stack it into this corner now let's go ahead and add a roof on top and for this one I'm actually going to use some oak planks just to change it up a little bit and for the door I think we'll throw in this super cool spruce door and I kind of like that Zoe had a garden so what if I make a nice garden area over here let's just grab some dirt so we can actually plant a bunch of things and Zoe what type of stuff did you even use in your garden plants well yeah obviously use plants what type of plants did you use like the ones that are alive the ones that are alive okay I'm gonna come over there and take a look real quick no you can't come look that's cheating let's see use a bunch of these plants and these plants and these plants okay I think I pretty much got Got the idea and oh i like this sign that you have here i'm gonna do the same thing thanks i know i'm pretty creative yeah it was a good idea but now that is my idea it's gonna be my idea no way well inside of here let's throw down one of these fancy little signs that way everyone knows that this is the garden area and now we have to grab a bunch of plants to start placing around here i think we'll make this entire row out of these fancy little plants and uh let's not put them on the floor because probably where other stuff is gonna be i'll put a couple of these vases in as well and i'm guessing we can also grow a couple of flowers all around this and i think that looks pretty good for a garden but the main thing i wanted to do is add in like an alien experimentation area so let's go ahead and get some more of this stained glass get a couple of the concretes and now we can start building up the chambers in each one of these we're gonna have a really cool 
alien, but I don't really know what I'm going to use yet. So I guess we're going to have to experiment a little bit. Let's build, uh, let's build two of these. I'm thinking inside of here, we could throw a nice little alien bug and get inside your chamber. There we go. And on the other side, uh, what would be good? Maybe we could throw a type of zombie. Oh, wait, I think we could throw it in this cyber guy. He looks really, really creepy. Those are two pretty good experimentation things. Now, just to make sure that Noah, that's not supposed to cross, doesn't actually cross this line. We're going to add in a few different lasers. Let's go ahead and block this area off. And I'm thinking we also have to go into the corner. Okay, perfect. This makes it look a lot better now. Now, Noah, that isn't meant can actually jump inside of here. And we have a little garden here as well. Our little alien area. And let's see what else I want to add into my UFO. I think the last thing I want to add is like a little observation deck. So let's just make sure to add a bunch of glass to the front. Oh gosh, we have our big cannons here. Well, I guess it's not that big of a deal as long as no one can get to them. So let me just break apart a bunch of this and we'll throw it in some nice little glass. And we can even have the glass go a bit higher. And actually speaking of glass, maybe I should change the top of my UFO. But first, let's go ahead and add in this observation deck. So let me just add a bunch of this lime stained glass everywhere. And let's also make the room out of glass as well. Just in case people want to see up, they can actually do that too. I'll just fill in a few more boxes and perfect. Okay, I think our observation deck is looking pretty good, but we're also gonna need some places for people to stand. So let me just go ahead and fill this in to make sure no one falls off. And then I can grab some fences as well. Let's just go ahead and fill in all the wall with a bunch of fences. And now no one should be able to fall off, but we're also gonna need to throw in some chairs. That way people can actually watch on the outside. So let's see, what type of chairs do I have that could be up here? Maybe I could make like a really, really big couch. So let me just grab something that matches a little bit better. I'll grab this nice black couch and I'll just extend it all the way across the back and I'll even curve it in in the corners. And we do have the captain's room below here, so I can't really do that much, but maybe I could change up the floor a little bit. Let's just put some of these oak planks in the front here to make it look a little bit nicer and fill in all the gap. Now, I think the observation area looks pretty good. Okay, we have a nice little observation area. We have a nice captain's room up here. We also have a nice little storage area with all of our really cool armor. Over here in the corner is where our science area is and also our flower spot. And I even put a sign here let me grab one of those real quick i'll just put that really cool sign here and actually i think i want to place a couple of these so instead of saying the armor room what we'll do is have these nice signs over here and i should probably also grab this flower sign and put it on the outside let's just smack it down in the corner and for the bedrooms let's see do i have anything cool that i could use maybe what i can do for these is throw in a couple of these furniture signs that way it kind of looks like a bedroom and honestly i think my ufo build is basically done mine's done too yeah i'm done as well okay okay perfect if both of you guys are done let's see whose side do you want to check out or Zoe, I honestly kind of want to look at your side. Come on over then. Okay, let's see. So give us the grand tour of your very, very purple UFO. Okay, be ready to be beamed up. Okay, uh, I think these are ladders, but sure, we'll act like they're beams. Just use your imagination. Then coming right this way, you can see my luxury bedroom slash living room. Okay, this is really nice. I see that you added in a bed to the corner. You have a really nice couch. And whoa, you have a bunch of books, Zoe. Yep, I like to read a lot. And you also have two big TVs. Why do you have two big TVs? Don't you just have like one ginormous? one because sometimes i can't decide whether or what to watch so i can watch both things at once that's a nice set of tvs yeah honestly that is smart if you want to watch two different things you could put like two things on two different channels okay i take it back that's a really good idea thanks so much now we can head over to the garden okay let's check out the garden and oh yeah i saw this early you have a ton of different plants in here honestly i think your garden is a lot better than mine thanks i worked super hard on it and you added in a bunch of chairs so you can even sit down is this a venus flytrap yep it's to keep any bugs out that's a little bit dangerous what if i stepped on it you'll be fine Fine. If anything, you should worry about the cactus. Oh, there's cactus in here? Oh, gosh, there are a bunch of cactus. I didn't even see them. Nox, watch out. Be careful. Hey, they're soft. It's okay. Oh, okay. As long as they don't hurt you or anything, I guess we're good. What the heck? Now we can head over to the kitchen. Whoa, your kitchen is so big, Zoe. Yep. We're going to cook all of our meals in here. Okay, this is nice. And you have a bunch of cake inside of the stoves. You have a bunch of salt and pepper. Okay, this is a really, really cool kitchen. And your table is super huge. And what? You have four fridges? Yep, to hold all my food. Oh my goodness. You have so many. Yep, it's super cool. But we need to go to the grocery store. Yeah, there's nothing in here. I know. We need to go to the grocery store. I used all the ingredients to make the cakes. Oh, okay. Well, um, I can fill up this one right over here with a bunch of TNT. No, don't do that. Yeah, do it. The TNT is already inside of it, Zoe. See, if you ever want to eat TNT, you can just grab it from there. Dax, keep your TNT to yourself. Oh, I was just trying to help you out since you had no food. I thought you were poor. Well, we can't eat TNT. What are you, crazy? I thought we could eat TNT. Moving on, we're going to go to the petting zoo. You have a petting zoo inside of here? Yes, but one of my rabbits got loose. Uh, it looks like two of them got loose. Let me just uh place this guy back into the corner. There he goes. Yep, I got donkeys, I got horses, I got cows, and I got bunnies. Oh, this is so nice, Zoe. You have like one of the best UFOs I've ever seen. Thanks, it's super awesome and you can even look at the animals when you're in the different rooms because all the walls are made out of glass that is super super creative i like all the cows they got in here and uh wait a second this mule looks a little bit weird what do you mean it looks weird i don't know just look at his leg what do you mean his 
leg. Nox, doesn't this guy look a little bit weird? No, he's just short. He's just short, but why are his legs so long? He's a baby. He's a baby, but his legs are like the same size as this other guy over here. That's just how he's built. You can't knock him for that. Well, I'm not knocking him. I'm just a little bit curious why his legs are so freakishly long. He's just a little baby. All right, Jay. Well, I thought your UFO was actually pretty cool. I think, honestly, I'm going to give you a, uh, an 8 out of 10. It was pretty impressive. Sweet, an 8 out of 10. And Nox, what do you give me? I give you a 9 out of 10. I like animals. Oh, yeah. All right, well, you have a 8 out of 10 for me and a 9 out of 10 for Nox. So you get a 17 out of 20. Let's just put your score on the front, and then I guess we can check out Nox's side. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let me go ahead and throw a sign over here with your score, 17 out of 20. And Nox, go ahead and show us your build now. Okay, over this way to my masterpiece. Uh, Yeah, it definitely looks like something, and it's very red. Why are these random blocks in the way, too? What if I just smack my head? Well, it's supposed to be like that. It's alien, you know? It's not supposed to be similar to what we have on Earth. Okay, I guess that kind of makes sense. Uh, Where'd all your food go, Nox? One second. Uh, okay. It I looks keep like some eggs you... on me. Oh, okay. What what happened to the other ones? Are they like escape or something? What the heck? What are those? These are alien bugs, I'm pretty sure. I have one of them in my laboratory. Oh, that's awful. I don't like looking at them. Yeah, I don't like looking at them either, but why do you have them as food, Nox? We can't eat them. Uh, you have to kill them first, obviously. Well, yeah, I know that, but I don't want to eat these guys. They look gross. They're tasty. I don't think they look tasty. Zoe, what do you think? They do not look good at all. Keep them away from me. I don't knock until you try it. And you have a lot of crew room, but you have like no crew crew members where are they at it's because they're hard at work up here they're hard at work yep feel free to grab a cake if you'd like uh okay the cake bought three thousand and oh my goodness you do have a lot of crew members oh my goodness they're snowmen yep me and the boys what in the world you have so many and why did i get a cake dispenser what was that for it's for cake in case you get hungry okay and i like how you have all these monitors so they can work and is this like the main guy over here looking at all three of these monitors exactly this is the pilot this is the pilot okay that's pretty cool well can your ship fly uh not exactly just yet it's under repair oh it's under repair do you have a crash or something yep we had a crash i got you okay it's lunchtime people eat your cake oh yes cake. i love cake let's go well nox i like that you have a really really big crew for your ship it honestly makes it feel like a lot more like an alien ship thank you but i don't really like these super scary bugs so i think that kind of lost you a couple points yeah those bugs kind of give me the heebie-jeebies so i'm gonna give you like a six out of ten all right but tell me this though did you like the cake oh the cake Ooh, was perfect the cake was so tasty so maybe i give you like a seven out of ten well because the cake was made from these fellas right here well, are you serious no! and it was delicious one day you ate it oh my gosh no way the cake is made for those guys you're getting a four out of ten yep they're Ugh. all ground up and they're tasty aren't they oh my gosh that is disgusting Docs. you liked it you know it well i'm giving you a four out of ten since you like pretty much lied to us yeah you poisoned us i said that was the food this is food that is two totally disgusting. Ten. Okay, you got a two out of ten from her and a four out of ten for me. So, Nox, you only get a uh, you get a six out of twenty. What? That's what you get because you use all the disgusting stuff in your cake. You guys are lame. No, we're not. That's totally gross. Fine, let's just move on. Okay, guys. Well, now we can look at my super awesome ship. But before we go inside, I have to show you guys what my defense system does. Let's do it. It better not shoot me. No, it won't shoot you at all. Look, if a, like an enemy comes around, like a mutant skeleton or something, for example, they're all gonna get zapped by my super cool turrets. What about so that? cool? Uh, yeah. I mean, I might shoot a bug, too. Look at that. That guy's getting taken the out. bug is so fast. Yeah, he's really fast. They're hard to catch. Yeah, he is really fast. Oh, my gosh, you stupid bug. Get out of here. Get out of hey, underneath my nice ship. Him. No, I'm not going to be nice to him. Get zapped by my turrets. Run. Run away from the bug. Yeah, I don't like that bug either. Okay, everyone get inside the base. And, oh, my gosh, this bug is still here. Where's the sword at? Come on, little fella. No, I'm getting my sword out. Get out of here, you stupid bug. Okay, everyone, but welcome inside of my super cool UFO ship. What room do you guys want to check out first? I have your bedrooms. I have an armor room. I have a laboratory, and I have the captain's room, but that will be last. I want to see the red room. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the red room. Everyone come into Nox's room. Ew. Inside of here, obviously, I wanted to give you a nice little couch with a really cool gaming setup. I gave you a bed with a chest and a crafting table, so you can just relax inside of here. Nice. Yeah, I really wanted to make it like home for you, so I added a bunch of red things that you would like. Nice. I like it a lot. You put a bunch of weird stuff in the chest. I put a bunch of weird stuff in the chest. And why are there a bunch of carrots in there? I didn't put that in there. Hey, carrots. Are you trying to tell Nox he's eat more vegetables? Oh, well, I mean, he just said he likes carrots. Oh, uh, yeah, I definitely put those in there, Nox. I like carrots. They're tasty. Okay, Zoe, let's go ahead and check out your room. And since you wanted the double door option, I gave you two doors. Fancy. Ooh, look at my TV. Yeah, you basically have the same thing as Nox, except I gave you a flat screen and I gave him more of a gaming desk. Sweet. This is awesome. And you didn't put anything in my chest. Uh, yeah, I didn't put anything in your chest but hey you can have uh, a bunch of this tnt and oh gosh wait you put a bunch of sunflowers in there ew you put the alien spawn egg in my chest what's the matter with 
you. I didn't put that in there. Obviously, it was Nox. You got food. I wanted to give you food. Aw, thanks, Nox. Yeah, you're welcome. Aw, oh, you like that? The carrots? Yeah, but the spawn egg of the alien. You want that? Oh, no. I'm burning the spawn egg of the alien. Oh, okay. That makes a lot more a sense creature. now. Yeah, but it's gross. No one wants that thing. You're gross. Whoa, I've seen those signs before. Oh, yeah. I actually got this uh, flower sign from you, but this is my laboratory and my little flower area. Well, let's go in. Well, if you come inside, I have one of the same thing Nox does. I have this really nice alien bug, but I also have this super cool cyborg. Ew, the alien bug. I hate that guy. Yeah, they're Thanks really you. weird. And unlike Nox, he's not food for me. I'm actually experimenting on him. Why? Uh, Because I want to get a super cool fast pass. Powers? Duh. I should experiment on mine to make them tastier. Mm, you can do whatever you want in your UFO, but this guy isn't food. What about the cyborg? The cyborg, uh, well, he has a really cool laser blaster, and I kind of want that eye that he has, so he's getting experimented on, too. Is he tasty? No, he's not tasty. I'm trying to eat my stuff. Okay. Okay, but over here is my little flower area. Of course, I just got a bunch of random plants, but Zoe's is honestly a lot better. I can't even take that away from her. Yeah, I agree. Oh, guys, that's so sweet. Yeah, I think your arrow is just way better than the both of ours. I mean, he didn't even have a garden. Yeah, because I was breeding animals for eating. Yeah, okay, you can do that then, Nox. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next area. This is the armor room. And actually, I gave you both your individual armors. Sweet, we have our own armor? It's an arm room? Yeah, it's an armory room. And no, it's not an arm room. It's an armory room. Oh, so it's not a bunch of arms in there? No, why would there be a bunch of arms in there? You're the one who said it, not me. Okay, look, guys, come inside of here. And uh, Zoe, I gave you this purple armor. And Nox, you have this red armor. And mine is the green armor. But you can really use whatever you want. All right. But inside of this chest, I have a bunch of different weapons that you can use. And like I said, again, Zoe, I gave you the obsidian sword. Nox, you have this little red sword. And I have this really big green sword. And oh, it looks this like you guys awesome. are both already putting on your armor. Do I look super cool? Yeah, you do look super cool. The purple really matches you. Thanks. I love it. And it looks like Nox is kind of struggling getting the armor. Nox, is it really difficult? No, I'm just putting it on. There we are. Well, you both look pretty cool with your armor. And yeah, you could grab anything from the chest that you want. We're not really under attack right now, but just in case we were, you could grab anything. Or if we crash again. Do you think we're going to be under attack anytime soon? Uh, I kind of hope not. And yeah, hopefully we don't crash again either. Okay, guys, we have one more room before we actually move on to the captain's room. And this is the observation deck. Let's go. If you just come up right these ladders, I have a super big couch. And basically, you can just see any anything that's happening when you're flying through space. Ooh, this couch is super comfy. Yeah, I made it super, super big. That way anyone could actually sit on it. Super nice. Yes, yeah, nice. Okay, but that's not the main part of my ship. The main part is the captain's room. And actually, guys, we can actually fly this ship. We're actually going to fly? No way. Yep, we're actually going to fly. I have my engine over here. I also have a couple seats for you guys. And uh, Zoe, where are you? I'm trying to find you guys. Can you both put away your laser blasters? I feel like you're going to start shooting at my ship. And what if we do? No, I don't want you to destroy my ship at all. Okay, are you guys ready to take off at my super cool ufo let's do this let's roll okay we're taking off in three two one let's go guys we're flying around this is awesome this is working so much better than my last one this is way cooler i was That's gonna insane. say the same thing this is so much better and honestly guys i have the only working ufo ship seriously mine works you just didn't give me the opportunity uh i don't think yours worked at all zoe i didn't see it flying around anywhere nox did you see it flying i didn't see it it flies if you close your eyes well since neither one of your guys ships actually worked i think i have to get the highest score right i guess you're right i'll give you like a one out of ten. Oh, what nox come on give me an actual score all right i'll put a zero behind that okay so nox gives me a 10 out of 10 come on so you have to give me the same thing so you're getting a nine out of ten a nine, okay whatever that still gives me a better score than the both of you guys congratulations good job dax and if you guys enjoyed that video make sure to watch the next one by clicking the one on screen bye guys bye guys